Okay, I'll give you two clues what we're fishing for today. Clue number one, teddy bear eye. And second clue is paintbrush tail. That's it, today it's all about tench. A tench, definitely one of my top three species. And I've had a great spring and early summer fishing for them on this club lake where we're at today. Uh, it's about 18 to 20 acres, pretty weedy. It's got a good head of tench and it doesn't get fished too much. So it's been perfect. We've been catching plenty of fish, sort of five to six pounds. They're not massive compared to the what you might see in the, the press each week, but they've been really good sport, fishing short sessions, turning up after work, fishing the evenings, and the following morning before heading back to work. Uh, so today, it's I was hoping to have had one this morning, because it is typically, I think it's probably the hottest day of the year so far. Um, now the sun is up, it's roasting hot, and fish activity seems to have slowed down, but the rods are out, so we're in with a chance. And while we're waiting, I'm gonna talk you through some of the rigs and baits I've been using this spring and summer and I've also got a pair of new rods that are perfect for this style of fishing that if you want to give it a go you might be interested in. So the first thing I did when I started fishing this water, I think it was back towards the end of April, was to find a decent spot which I could focus on. Uh, I'd never fished here before, so I didn't really know anything about the venue. Um, so on that first trip, I brought my marker kit down with me, I had a little chuck around. And after a while, I found it's sort of shallow margins, which then drop off. And then it's almost like a deep channel, slightly deeper channel, um, before it shallows up and it goes, hits a really weedy plateau. So I've been fishing in that deeper channel just off, just off the start of that weed bed. Um, and I haven't actually been down for the last couple of weeks. It's been clear when I've been fishing it. Um, and then I say I haven't fished for the last couple of weeks. So I brought with me last night a little castable weed rake just to go over the spot. Um, there was quite a bit of fresh weed growth. It's come up all over the lake in the last few weeks. Um, and there was quite a bit on the spot. So I had a little chuck around with that just to clear the area. And it also helps to stir at the bottom a bit, which hopefully will get the tenches interest with all the little naturals and bugs and bits and bobs that will come up with that. So once the spot was sorted, the next job is to get some bait out there. Now tench are bottom feeders, unlike a lot of species that will come up in the water to feed and gradually come shallower and shallower. Tents just seem to feed hard on the deck, so I like to use a mix that contains lots of little small food items um, which will hold them in the swim and keep them rooting around. There's no hard and fast rules about what you put in your mix, but I like to use the base of my mix is hemp. I've got some sweet corn in there because tents love that. Uh, I always use a mix of different size little pellets between 2 mil and 4 mil. Um, some casters sometimes I've included maggots as well and also just a few 12 mil boilies whole and crushed up and as well as giving that loads of different food items there for the tench to keep milling around picking up and keeps them in the area it also gives you plenty of hook bait options um, i've caught quite a few using casters but i've also had them on fake corn and we've got maggots out and if you've got all those bits in your mix you can chop and change and try different things because you'll often find one week one bait's working well, the next week you might get more bites on something else. So it's good to have those options available to you. So I tend to just spam out a mix of this bait at the start of the session. Um, I generally fish quite short sessions, so I don't want to fill it in at the beginning and put too much out there. I want just enough out there to get a few tench in the swim and hopefully get a couple of bites and then I can top up again. Uh, so as a rule, I'll probably put 10 or 12 spams out at the start. And then if I've had a couple of bites or I'm getting liners and I haven't had a bite but think I should have, I'll put just, just two or three more spoms out over the top just to get a bit more bait falling through the water again and top the swim up. So the next thing you need to think about is rigs. Now you don't need complicated rigs when it comes to tench fishing. Um, it's not like carp fishing where there's all sorts of different rigs for different scenarios. It's pretty straightforward, but you do need to get a few things right. So tench, like I mentioned before, they do feed hard on the bottom and they're quite slow feeders. Unlike carp that will often pick up baits and move on to the next one quite quickly, tench will sit there picking up little bits and bobs and they don't move much. So if you've got a long hook link on, there's every chance they're going to pick up your bait, sit on the spot, spit it back out again and you won't know anything about it. So I much prefer to use short hook links of between 
four and six inches. It's quite soft a lake bed I'm fishing over, so I'm more towards the six inch length at the moment. So it's just got that little bit of extra length to sit top on top of any debris on the bottom, but it's still pretty short. And that way, when the tench pick up the bait, they've only got to move a couple of centimeters and the hookling's gonna straighten out and then they'll feel the resistance of the lead, which will hopefully set the hook. And when they steam off, it'll set the hook home properly. I've got a couple of different rig options I've been using. One is just a hair rigged couple of fake casters on a supple braid hook link. And then I've also had a few fish just using short maggot rigs, which is I fish them helicopter style with a short about four inch fluorocarbon hook link with just three real maggots threaded onto the hook. And I think I think the caster rigs probably out fishing the maggot one at the moment, but I have had a few on the maggots. But like I say, it's nice to have those options as one, you know, sometimes you will find one works better than the other. So if you like me, you do a lot of short sessions. A good habit to get into is preparing as much as you can in advance at home. So the day before a session, I'll make sure I've got a good selection of rigs tied up. I'll make my spod mix up for the, for the trip. And I'll also tie up half a dozen PVA bags ready to go, which means once I get here, all I've got to do is put my rods together. I can put the fresh rig on. I've got my PVA bags ready and I can be fishing really quick. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I've got a couple of new rods that I wanted to show you today as well. They're part of the Shakespeare SKP Solitude range, which comprises, I think there's about 19 rods in the range altogether, and they cover everything from fishing for chub on the rivers, feeder fishing, and there's even some dedicated barbel rods. And the rods we're using today for tension, it is the 11 foot, one and a half pound test curve rods, and they're perfect for this style of fishing. If you've ever hooked a tench while you've been carp fishing or using a slightly beefier rod, you might find you get the tension fairly close, no trouble, but then it'll often bump off at the net because the rod's just a bit too stiff for the size of a tench. Now these are perfect. They're 11 foot, they cast beautifully, and they're really nice to play fish on. They've got enough power to get the fish in, because tents do fight hard, but they've got enough power for that, and yet they're still soft enough in the tip that you don't have to worry about bumping fish off at the net. And what I really like about these rods is they look a little bit different to most other rods on the market. These days, most modern rods, they have a matte black finish and a full EVA handle. These have a really nice, almost olive green, a bit like a tench, finish to them and they've got the full cork handle which I've always I always like a cork handle I always aspired to having them when I was a kid I remember my granddad had a few I thought I'd made it when I got my first cork handle rod so that gets a big thumbs up from me if you love your tech spec I'll give you the details the blanks are made from a combination of 20 and 30 ton carbon cloth and then you've got low profile sea guide guides on there as well these rods are perfectly balanced with main lines of between six and 10 pound, which is ideal for tench fishing. If you're fishing a clear lake, you probably want something closer to six to eight pound, but if the lake you're fishing is quite weedy, you probably want to step up to near 10 pound. So it's perfect for that. Casting weight rise, we've been using two ounce leads today and it's handled those fine. I probably wouldn't want to go much heavier. Like I say, it's only one and a half pound test curve. So two ounce with a PVA bag on or a two ounce feeder with a bit of bait in, that's probably about right. Again, they're not out and out casting tools. Um, we're fishing only short today, probably about 20 to 30 yards. You could go, I don't think you'd have much trouble going much further than that. Again, you know, 40 to 50 yards, I think they'd handle quite comfortably. And really when you're tench fishing, you, there's not many situations when you need to fish much further than that anyway, you generally find them quite close in. But you know, having had to play with them, they're quite a versatile rod. You know, they're not limited to just tension. They'd also be perfect for specimen bream fishing. You could use them on smaller rivers for barbel. And even I think they'd make a great floater rod when fishing for carp to double figures or stalking carp of that sort of size in the margins. Now the price of these is they are $84.99. So they're not mega cheap and not mega expensive. So if you're looking to kit yourself out with a pair of rods to do it sort of get lots of different styles of specimen fishing these could be just up your street so that is pretty much how i go about my tench fishing like i say i've had a really good spring and early summer catching plenty of fish and there's nothing that complicated about it it's really easy to do so i hope some of the pointers in this video will help you catch a few tench this summer as well